Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, boys and girls, and uh, kids of all ages. And there's a time spiral in here. We need to do a root beer taste testing event with Swole Mike and Drunk Rob. Have all the local root beers you love in the club. I, I think that would be sweet. I can go, I can go, uh... Uh, I, I'm probably taking Time Spiral over Titan here. Time Spiral is pretty busted, and we get to play Cool, Cool Storm. Everyone loves Storm, right? Everyone loves Cool Storm. It's definitely not Eureka. Eureka is the biggest trap there is. You will always get your thing stolen or destroyed with a Eureka while they play something better than you, every single time. Opposition's also sweet, um, but I think your the opportunity to get opposition is a lot higher than Time Spiral. Plus opposition, you have to. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take time spiral. We're gonna. We're gonna spiral. We're gonna be spiraling. Liliana of the Veil. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you're getting show and tell are totally traps. It's one thing if you're playing like Legacy, right? And you build your deck around it, so you're like, oh, cool. I can just play. I can put my Emrakul into play, and there's no way they have anything like Emrakul. Um, in the cube, you're wasting a card, which is either show and tell or Eureka. To put a card into play, and they could have Sower of Temptation, they could have Cryptic Command to bounce that thing, they could have a better threat than you, because that's very, very possible in, in cube. Um, so, you know, 9 times out of 10, you're going to look like a dummy when you play Eureka or Show and Tell. I'm going to take this Bloodstained Mire. Dragonlord Silumgar is also insane when they're like, hey man... I'm gonna kill your thing. And you're like, oh. I'm gonna steal it. That's what I meant. You recommend my new article? On my what was my new article? What article? Uh, it's probably Impulse of Vraska's Contempt if we're storming. And... Could be Duress, could be Everflowing Chalice. Yeah, I do like Chalice here. Oh, uh, I don't think this is any indication that Storm isn't open. Banalish Marshall, that's interesting. Any love for Recruiter? Yeah, in some decks, sure. Uh, Delver good in the Storm deck? Not really, because you're not winning. You want to win in one turn. You don't really care about playing a Delver. Could be Gifts Ungiven. Yeah, I like Gifts Ungiven. I don't like Gifts Ungiven, but it's could be the play. Uh, Pentad Prism should be fine. By the way, that was a serious question. I wasn't actually sure what article you were referring to, because... I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just Pentad Prism here. Oh, the old Marchal. Marchal. Benalich Marchal. It's like Benalich. You can you can just replace the S's with C's. Benalich Marchal. And it just sounds like you have a speech impediment. I know it's been a while, but uh, raining tacos? I don't know what that means. Is that is that like raining men, but with tacos? Is that That sounds like something I would have sung before. I wish they would have added some battle bond cards just for cube. I can get behind that. Heartbeat's pretty good. It's basically just a green. It's a green mana flare. The problem is, do we have to be green for it? Yes, we do. I'm still gonna take it. Joyra. Marari's wake. 
It's got to be Joyra, right? Joyra seems OP in the deck with two artifacts and a bunch of other artifacts. Yeah, I'm going to take the Joyra. We're going to try the Joyra. I knew Gushi would get uh, excited about the, the Harpy to Spring. Mm. I do like a Daze. Let them have their nice reanimator deck. See, the, like, the Eureka is still here because it's such a terrible trap. I don't think True Crucible does anything for us. I think I'd rather just be Days and Dudes out. Oh, Lumbering Fall seems great if we're playing Heartbeat. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. Let's Lumbering Fall. This is this is a very strange. I don't I don't know how I feel about this deck so far, but this is the thing I love about Cube is that we can just draft anything and play it and see what happens. So we're all going on a ride together. Putrid Impums. I mean, you guys are you guys are welcome to go wake, but I don't want to add white to this already four color deck. Like we're already red, blue, uh, and presumably black as well, and green. So, um, adding a four a fifth color uh, is probably not where I want to be. Although, funny thing is, there was a Rage of Earth Thicket and a Stirring Wildwood in these past two packs, so. Okay, so apparently people just don't want us on... <laughs> on Storm, so that's fine. I accept that. Another Lyra. Two Lyras so far. <sighs> and no power. Yawgmoth's will. Pretty fantastic, but not for our deck yet. Brain Freeze is a storm wind condition. How many cubes are you doing today? Uh, as many as we feel. Water Grave and Tropical Island, both amazing. It's probably Brain Freeze, and we just keep our fingers crossed the Ogmos will comes back. Tamio, Gilded Lotus, Force of Will. Misty Rainforest is good. Cabal Ritual is very good. I feel like the, the cube is literally just trolling us at this point. I think we just take the Cabal Ritual here. Force of Will is great, but that might actually table, whereas Cabal Ritual probably won't. What's Crit? See Rit? Oh, see Rit. I gotcha. Yeah, we got it. Not storm? What does that mean? Are you are you protesting? Ugh, too late. Yes, you are you are certainly too late, my friend. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. That's a stormable card. Dig through time also very, very good. It's gotta be it's gotta be wheel though, right? It's it's a storm deck. We gotta play wheel. Discard seven, draw seven. Or discard your hand, draw seven, rather. You're not discarding seven. You'll very rarely be discarding seven. Followed by Time Twister. Okay. I like bribery a lot, but... I mean, we're trying to be storming here. Bribery's great, don't get me wrong, but that ain't what we're here for, boys. This is 
Time Twister is barely power, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, high tide would be such gas, especially with Time Spiral and Heartbeat. I'm not a big Gifts fan, I'll be honest with you. Grim Tutor. Oh, there she blows. We don't have any plan if we can't freeze them yet, but I really don't expect us to have two plans uh this early in the this early in the in the draft. Like we can we have another pack and a half to find another another storm card. And the fact that we're getting high tides and and time twisters this late feels pretty open. Frantic search. And Rite of Flame. Ooh, two, a Rit and a Search, dude. Search is probably better because it untaps when we have High Tide and Heartbeat of Spring, so... Frantic Search is probably exactly what we want here. What if that that Rite might actually come back, to be honest? If there were eight cards in there, I didn't count. Do we have 22, 13, and 8? We have 21, so there, it actually could come back. Because there's nine cards. It'd be like two cards in the pack. We do need lands, but it's not like we've seen that many lands. I think we saw Overgrown and Tropical in the first pack. So, those steam vents, steam vents, pyretic ritual or steam vents, do 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 steam vents, oh, 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 oh. Stormless Storm? We have Brain Freeze right here. I don't understand. People say things that don't make any sense. Yeah, it's got to be Steam Vents, unfortunately. Electrolyze is reasonable. Through the Breach is reasonable. It's got to be just Electrolyze, right? Deals with some things. Blood Fast. Just draw, draws a bunch of cards. Hi, <laughs> you're very pleasant to listen to. Some other American MGG streamers don't have that skill. Good luck on that. Thank you so much for saying so. I really appreciate it. I do try. I'm going to take Electrolyze. It draws us a card, so. That's enough for me. If a card says draw you a card, I'm like, well, that's all I want. That's all I really want in the world, so. Bloodstained Mire Lumbering Falls and Steam Vents are our fixing lands. Overgrown Tomb is great. We can get it with Bloodstained Mire and it casts Harpy to Spring. That's actually perfect. I would like that Terminate, but we're going to take the Overgrown Tomb because we're not dummies. And there was a Lyra still in that pack, comically. Cast Progenitus. Draw, draw a card. <laughs> it replaced itself. You could tell how good it was. Bloodbraid Elf. Dismember. Dismember costs one. That's a reasonable storm card. Yeah, I'll just I'll take a dismember. I'll take a revoker. Maybe that deals with some things. Actually, Chandra's a win condition. Yeah, I'll take a Chandra. Oh, inspiring vantage is actually not what we're looking for. Okay, understood, understood. Oh, you guys both like suns, huh? Okay, well that's. That's your prerogative. I'll take Sundering Titan here. Dark Dwellers. That's a late exhum. What do you mean to do that a step when you draft? Um, you can check out my Twitch profile for information on that. I mean, sometimes I do steps naturally just because I don't have anything to do. Um... But if you if you're dying to have a specific step done, you can check my Twitch profile. There's information there, and it all goes to support the stream. By the way, uh, Warm Coil Engine, Compulsive Research is probably good. Vamp Tutor is probably better, to be honest. Um, Leovold's also not bad. Yeah, ideally we get like Bayou or Botanical Sanctum back. Yeah, we're definitely taking the Vamp Tutor here. <laughs> oh, Matt.
Magic Online, you are wonderful. Karn seems good. Creeping Tarpet seems good. Thirst seems good. Did we open a Karn? Boy, did we. Hmm. I'd like to thank Magic Online for the two two Lyras and a Karn so far. I, I do actually think we need the fixing. I don't think we're I don't think we need Thirst. We have Time Twister, Frantic Search, Wheel of Fortune, Impulse. Broken Neckbeard of Trust. Oh yeah, well that guy's great, but uh nope, 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 nope. I don't see Arid Mesa being the pick here. I can see Inquisition being the pick here. Blooming Marsh also could be the pick, but we only have one green card. And we already have three green sources in our deck, in our in our, in our mana base. And I don't really want that many lands to come into play untapped. Arid Mesa does get us... Uh, Marsh only, only gets us uh, Overgrown Tomb so far. So it literally just gets us black green. So I think Creeping Tarpet's better because it's actually blue-black, which is our main colors. This pack is pretty bad for us. Is Tezzeret any good for us? Not really, right? I think Inquisition's probably better than um, than Dreadbore. Maybe. Yeah, I don't want to be that heavy red if we don't have to be. We do need more Sagas. You're right. I'll take this for the sideboard. This last pack has been pretty rough. Oh, Empty the Warrens. That's actually pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean that's very, very good. And by very good, I mean that's great. Yeah, we're just going to take that. Yeah, Mesa gets a Steam Vents, but we were talking about Marsh Flats, which was the pick before. Uh, Demir Signet. Demir Signet seems great. No, I don't think it's you. Nope. Could be Lava Claw Reaches, but I don't, like, like I said, I don't want that many lands to come to play tap. So, same thing with Spire Bluffs. Demir Signet is actually an artifact which triggers Joyra. It lets us play Joyra on turn three. And it also is uh, in our colors, which is pretty gas. Toxic Deluge actually seems like a good card for us. What if we just Scarab God, and that's our like alternate wing con? We just Scarab God their things. I actually don't hate that. Especially if we're making a million mana. We can just actually reanimate all of their things. Like we can Wheel of Fortune, make them discard all their big stuff. I mean, we also have Brain Freeze. We can Brain Freeze for not infinite and then Scarab God the rest. I want to take Deluge because I think we need it for the deck. I don't like doing it, but I think we had to. Magma Jet seems fine here. Could also be Raging Ravine, just as our final green source. We also have Trigon Predator and Maelstrom Pulse, which are both playable. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the subs. Really appreciate Thanks for all the content you put out. It makes the work bearable. Appreciate it. Thank you for the support. It makes the streaming bearable, you, you might say. They have jammed a non-subtle amount of green cards, into, uh, standard cards into this cube. I feel like you are not incorrect. I think it, I think it could actually be Confidant here. I think the extra cards are nice. Oh. Got there. Is it the stupid infinite chicken or is it Nicobolus? I feel like it's just chicken, infinite chicken, right? What's our combo with this? Like, we don't actually have infinite mana. We don't have anything to do with infinite mana, right? I feel like Charm is third. Uh, quite far behind both Palancron and Nicol Bolas there. Leovold came back, which is actually pretty baller. I wish we could take this Bayou. But I'm pretty sure... I'm, oh, I was, do you remember when we, win with, when we won with Rakdos' return? I'm pretty sure it's Rakdos' return here. Rakdos' return seems utterly insane. That's a win condition for us. 
Um, Olivia Darren's a fine backup plan, actually. Yeah, Leovold will draw seven's nuts, but like, we don't need the extra cards. Like, if we're drawing seven, we're already drawing seven. We don't need to draw 14. I'd rather just have a card that wins us the game. I'm going to take the Olivia here. I think we already have... Actually, Lightning Strike's probably better, right? Yeah, we'll take the Lightning Strike. Ooh. Blooming Marsh, is that worth playing? I don't think so. We need non-green lands. Our mana's pretty rough, actually. Why are you, why are you calling Leovold Neckbeard? He doesn't actually have any beard at all. That's very He's an elf. Elves don't even have facial hair. I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused by calling him Neckbeard. Infinite Mana plus Olivia does does do that, I guess. She can actually shoot herself and just keep getting infinitely bigger. Oh, that was a great... That was a great pickup. That Lava Claw reaches is super nice. Oh, actually, this is... I think this is almost playable, to be quite honest. This is 26 cards. Probably not that playable, though. All right. 25 cards. What are we cutting here? Probably Lightning Strike. I don't think I care about that. We can probably take out this Chandra. Everything else seems very good, though. Actually, Dire Flea with Ancestral seems pretty good. That's probably better than Lightning Strike. Do we just play 18, 17, 16 lands in this deck? I feel like we could do it. All of our lands are very playable as well, so let's add some basics. Unfortunately, I wish we got... Actually, Bloodstained Mire gets Overgrown Tomb and Steam Vents, which is all of our colors, which is actually perfect. It's a dumb neckbeard card that they won't even play. Wait, what? I mean, it is too good for 1v1. Its card is insanely strong. Yeah, our curve did get a little higher, actually. If we're playing fewer lands, I can see taking out Dark Confidant. I wonder if we put in Inquisition just because it's fine. I think we're good like this. We can board an Inquisition. We can only possibly draw like four cards off of Joyra. Sure. That isn't good enough. Oh, well, that was... Boy. I mean, I actually might like Dark Confidant over Joyra. Yeah, this seems fine. Look, we got all these wizards. Oh, that's a pirate, I guess. All right, whatever. I think this deck is pretty... This is also a two-drop. So these are the only cards we're scared of hitting off of. Put in Liliana. I don't think Liliana is very good here. Leovold is utterly oppressive in Commander because you just play with it, Winds of Change, and Teferi's Puzzle Box, and then you're going to... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah it's, I, I agree with that. I mean, it's not like they're complaining because it's... They don't like the card. They're complaining because the card is actually... Oh, uh, uh, it's a two-drop in terms of hitting it off of Dark Confidant. Yes, you will only take two damage. So... Sort by color. Also, Goblin Dark Dwellers into, like... Time Twisters. It goes in a separate graveyard, right? Then... Time sort of, yeah, sure. That seems pretty sweet. So actually, I don't think we even need a green. We have Bloodstained Mire, Lumbering Falls, Overgrown Tomb, Pentad Prism. So that's four sources of green just for a heartbeat. It's going to be Aurelius Fury all over again. You're right. Um, so this would be four, five, six, seven, eight sources of blue. I like that. Black, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sources of black. Plus Demir Signet, which is nine and nine, we'll say. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, five sources of red. 
And I actually think this this mana base is good. One, yeah, this is actually good. That's actually almost perfect, it seems like. Main deck, the Falcon Wrath Gorger. I like it. I like it. It's going to be Aurelius Fury all over again. God, I love that. I still haven't heard back from Wizards. I did I did submit a refund request with the image. With the classic, the classic image. Yeah, you're right. We can't cut. We can't fetch the forest. Actually, I'll just add a mountain instead. I like another mountain just because we do have double red on Dark Dwellers. This is exciting. This deck looks sweet. Oh, high tide, high tide, high tide, high tide. Adding another island. High tide. Adding another island. Okay, we did it. Whew. Good call. We have one, two, three. We only have six islands right now. We also have we have heartbeat, so it's it's kind of like meh. Actually, the more I think about it, like these, this is not double black. We only need one, two, three, four black cards. We can actually cut another swamp for another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's actually totally fine. Just load up on the islands for the. Yeah, that's good. Heartbeat is high tide for all lands. That's correct. Got a little crick in the old neck here. Did he say he has a neck crick? So why print it? They printed it because they didn't know it was going to be too good. <laughs> like, I mean, why why did they print? Why print Smuggler's Copter? Why print Skull Clamp? Like, that's just, they just, I don't understand that question. Oh, l that's literally what Josh said. Yeah, okay. It's still in Legacy, but too good for one for one. Yes, because, it, I mean... Because you can actually do much nuttier things in Commander 1v1 than you can in Legacy, interestingly enough. Um, I don't actually like this hand. This is not great. This hand is good. This hand is great. Um, I don't actually want you. Not yet, anyway. Why print any card? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, asking why they printed a card because it was too good for a certain format after it was printed and people were able to discover that it was very good is a very strange thing to ask. Storm Count 1. Oh, they know what's going on. Oh, dang it. Red, black. Oh, that's fine. That's a do nothing if I ever saw it. Oh, we're so lucky. <laughs> Glad to help you laugh, friend. Oh. Someone I'll note you. I am also glad. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Where's the grape jerky? Today we got cranberry jerky. Ooh, I like Dire Fleet Daredevil hitting this compulsive research at some point. That's pretty good. I wonder if we frantic search here. We can probably ditch dismember and something else. But we also like holding up the frantic search for when we get like island, 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 high tide. And then we can be like, net a million mana. You know, like you do. Like you do. Do you do anything here? Mm, probably not. I mean, our only option is really frantic search. Karn Liberate. Oh, a Mana Drain. That'll never work. Oh, God, we're so good at this game. Well, that's pretty sweet. Why are you not an island, though? That's my question. These are the questions we ask ourselves. 
Tire Flick Daredevil, why can't you be more like your brother, Snapcaster Mage? Tire Flick Daredevil hitting memory is like eight mana. I don't know. I don't know how we're getting eight mana, but it, that is funny because it does actually give us another time twister effect. Interesting. <laughs> no, dude. I want to keep my bob. <laughs> Got him. Also, Dire Fleet Daredevil time walk is a thing, just to be clear. Oh, that's fine. Tap that guy down. That's great. We're drawing a lot of blue sources. Uh, but they're not islands, unfortunately. God, we have not hit we have not taken damage from that dude once. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, a red. We're just gonna play Lava Claw Reaches, keep up Vampiric Tutor. Thanks for the time walk, good friend. Hmm. Okay. Six turn, which one? Which one of the two? Ha 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 ha. If we have Empiric Tutor for an island, what does that do? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What if they have a counter spell, though? I mean, we're still going to play this, so. Yeah, being able to electrolyze and shoot one at their face and one at the Planeswalker is gas. Uh, we only have one island, though. I'm not sure if... Dire Fleet, the Rudy of our generation. Wow. That's insane. We just get Rakdos to return? What if we just Rakdos to return their whole hand? You guys are being real greedy. One, two, three with Heartbeat. Then we can add eight mana. So we can actually Time Spiral untap. That's actually pretty good. I do like that. Let's try that. I guess we're hoping they don't have counterspell. Counterspell. Batman's moves. It's Christmas time in the city. One, two, three. Let's heartbeat. We're not going to hide tide here because it seems bad. Oh, we don't have to tap. We don't have to add all that mana. We can just go one, two. Little frantic search. Um, add these bad boys. Do we play land? Played a mountain. Okay. Get rid of dismember and island. We will untap you. You and you. One, two, three, four, five.
I guess we should have played high tide. We're going to just shovel back in. That was terrible. Do they counter this? Fencer. That was so bad. We should have high tided. If we high tided, we would have been able to play around this Fencer. But now we don't get to. Why was that better than casting high? God, you're being, you're so, you're, you've been, you've been super pleasant. <laughs> super pleasant. I'm a fan of all your comments. Um, this deck's hard to play. We should have actually played either one of these first. Um, I think we just pass here. We give them a million mana, but we have a, a ton of things to do next turn, which is totally fine. So they have three cards. They'll have three cards in hand. They could actually play Memory, though. We had one island, which is why we didn't high tide. So we can actually tap this, and this is going to add one more. But it does net us, like, two more is the thing. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Appreciate it, Shells Cubed. Um, yeah, we're, we're playing around. Like, high tide doesn't do a tremendous amount because it just... We have one island. So it would have netted us two mana. One from the untap with Frantic Search, so that's one extra mana. And one from um, the initial tap. So we would have had two extra mana. Uh, which didn't seem like a lot at the time. But we would have had five mana to work with if we time spiraled. Uh, oh, well, pre-time spiral. So we would have actually had seven instead, which would have made a difference. And we were, were getting rid of it anyway. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, even if they counter this, we still have Time Spiral in hand. So, that's pretty good. I mean, I do wish they didn't have islands, but... Torrential Gearhook into... Sure. Sure. That seems okay. Mana Drain. Seems fine. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. So, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you have another counter spell? You have. Okay, we're they're, they're gonna dig for one without any blue mana. So that's pretty good. Storm count is now at five, so brain freeze probably kills them. Let's see if the <laughs> last card in hand was a blue one. Scarab God. Seems good. It only seems wrong if you don't have Force of Will and a blue card in your hand, exactly. So, how are you this unlucky? These are the questions we ask ourselves. Wow. Oh, Murderous Cup. One time, time spiral or time twister or, uh, you know, the other one. That's just amazing. Can we just win with all of these things? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two. We don't have a second green, unfortunately, so we can't activate Creeping Tar Pit. Or we can't activate a...
They have Murderous Cut, which actually increases our Storm Count and might win us the game. So they have one card in hand, it's just Murderous Cut, which is actually pretty good for us. This guy doesn't get Trample, right? That'd be sick. So ideally they Murderous Cut here, and then we... Um... But we're trying to up the Storm Count, so I think it's actually going to work out just fine. So in the future, they go block here, take four. They go to six. Block here, they go to three. Block here, they go to one. And then we should be dead after that. Rakdos's return. Does that kill us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If they have land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We go to we go to one. So they can put us to one. If we had another green source, this Lumbering Falls would have been great, but... Are they just going to put us to one here? Oh, no, they actually had one floating, I guess. Cool. Seems good. <sighs> Seems something. I kind of want this Trigon Predator in here. They got Toxic Deluge. Yeah, that was something, all right. That was a match, I think. Yep, this hand is not keepable. This hand surprisingly is, actually. Yeah, we'll put you on top. Hoisted by our own... Uh, Harpy to spring petard. Oh, Inquisition would have been reasonable, I guess. Um, I must have missed that guy. Impulse? Is it Impulse? Do we Vampiric Tutor for a thing? Uh, maybe Heartbeats? Let's see what we get here. Goblin Dark Dwellers is actually pretty good. Yeah, we're going to take the Dark Dwellers here. I feel we can probably get another red source before too long. Well, they don't have double blue, so they're not in uh, Mana Drain territory yet. It's still not, which is interesting. I think we can wait to Vampiric Tutor on the upkeep of the turn we're going to go off. Interesting. Both tech, take it easy, buddy. Um... No second blue seems good. I think we're definitely tutoring. If we tutor during our upkeep for Heartbeat, we can play Heartbeat. If we draw a land, we can play the land and then empty the Warrens if it's a red land, which would be pretty sick. I almost just want to find a, a land here. Yeah, I don't think we do anything. Just draw the land naturally like you do. Seems good. Wow. It's interesting you left that in when we only saw Dark Confidant and Dire Fleet Daredevil. I actually kind of like Daze here. I like Dire Fleet Daredevil a little better, though. That guy's just going to get him. 
I mean, Days might get him, but Daredevil, Dire Fleet Daredevil is probably always going to get him. We at least have a hero's downfall in case they torrential gear hulk here. Yeah, that's obnoxious. So one thing we can do is Vampiric Tear during upkeep, draw high tide, double, 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 double. Uh, can we brain freeze them? How many? Hmm. I don't want them to get this guy for sure, so... It might just be Daredevil Scarab God. That buys us a turn. I, I meant Heartbeat if I said high, if I said high tide, I meant Heartbeat. I don't know what I said. So we can go Vampiric Tutor. Heartbeat. That is interesting. That is interesting. Oh god. No, not that. Not that. This guy. This guy. Whew. Okay. I mean, it's not a great solution to a Scarab God, but they, they have to play it again. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's fine. They don't get the goblin. They don't. Yeah, that's fine. I'm having days that was actually good because now we get to do other things. But they could have just have force of will still. So. I mean, force of will is pretty insane if they have it. So. I think we just have to go for it though. I mean, they have one blue, so we have to put them on force of will here. One, two, three, four. It, puts, it gives us six exactly, then we untap for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they can cast Dark Ruler's Days. That's so obnoxious. So, that is worth playing around, I guess. Heartbeat is pretty terrifying because it gives them double blue, so that's not really what we want. High Tide also gives them double blue. Yeah, none of these are great for us. I'm pretty sure we're dead. Doesn't feel good here. We got Vampiric Tutor. We can high tide for the double blue. Then they just mana drain, but mana drain's worse on empty the Warrens. I think it's still island. One, two, three, four, five. Let's attack first and see if they block. That would be cool if they did that. I doubt they will. Okay, this is pretty good, actually. I wonder if that's what we needed to have happen. Wow, that's interesting. Whew. 
Well, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? All right. Did it? Did it, boys? Uh, storm counts three. So we can go one, two, three. Four. We'll add a red so we can untap and add more red. Uh, frantic search. One, two. They can have force now, sure, but I mean, they could not as well, so. Never didn't have it. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Crying out loud. That was actually terrible then. Search was huge for us. Like we would have had one, two, three, four, five more mana. Rakdos doesn't really do much. It like makes them discard three. It kind of sucks. We can actually go Cabal Ritual, Dark Confidant, Dismember. It's not terrible. We can also do this during their upkeep, I think. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. We have to use a mana now. One, two. And then the next turn we can discard, f make them discard five. Ugh. This is brutal. They didn't do anything. Torrential Gear Hulk in the graveyard. What are the odds of having Force of Blue card? I mean, it's probably high, but I mean, 7 out of 26. Well, I think Frogler means when, we, when they actually cast it, not right this second. I'm just going to run in here because if you do have Torrential Gear Hulk and you want to block, you don't. Okay, there's a literal fly flying around me right now and it's really obnoxious because this is my life now. My life is flies, no power, no mythics from Dom Dominaria. So... Torrential gear, Hulk. Counter with force of will. That's fine, buddy. That's just fine. To the surprise of no one. One, two, three. So if we don't, if we did anything that costs four or more, be it uh, actually one, two, three. That could actually they have lethal on board. 
They just missed the Lava Claw reaches, which is totally fine. Okay. Sure. Seems good. Well, we don't have an alternative anyway. Like, I mean, we can not attack with Bob, but... All right. Well, that was a thing, I guess. Fly is getting super obnoxious. Apologies. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Multiple islands. Ways to cast Dark Confidant. Seems good. So first round opponent had... Black Lotus. Second round opponent had... What was it? Oh, Ancestral. One one had Ancestral, one had Soul Ring, and one had Time Walk. So we're actually 4 out of 4 for our opponents having, having power so far. Which is a thing. How are you streaming without power, though? Uh, I, I have a generator. Wow, the Stark Confidant's just surviving. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he did. I don't know. Huh. All right, well. Oh. So so lucky. Such lux. Well, they can't flash in Resto here, so. Red and white don't have many cheap ways to interact with creatures. What was I thinking? I do like playing Everflowing Chalice here, though. Seema good. We could also Time Twister here, but I'm not going to do that. We could Vampiric Tutor at the end of our turn. I like vamp during upkeep, though. Aggressive. Quite aggressive. It's a lot of lands here. One, two, three, four. We have a lot of mana and not a lot of things to do with all that mana. So we're definitely going to Time Twister next turn. Faux show. Um, maybe one, two, three, four, five. I guess we get... We can Vampiric Tutor during our upkeep to get a thing. And then Goblin Dark Duel to get another thing. Are you going to kill now you're killing the Bob? Okay. Yeah, I think we've been tutor for high tide and for uh, uh, time spiral. That seems good, especially with this number of islands. So, wouldn't you like to get away? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Does this do anything? I don't think this does anything, actually. Oh, we can high tide again, actually, and then time twister. Does that do anything? Hmm, I think we might have messed up. I forgot we don't get to draw the second card. Uh, cast instant or sorcery. So we can cast high tide again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. If we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. So we could time twister. 
And if we hit like Frantic Search, it's really good. We play land this turn, right? We could also just Time Twister here and go and forget about the Dark Dwellers. One, two, three, four. That does the same thing. One, two, three. Because this also makes a blue. So it doesn't actually... So this is five. We go Dark Dwellers into High Tide again. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. That's three. Is that right? No, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's that's right. Okay. Yeah. It's what we do. Thank you. Happy Hominid. Thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to hopefully get a frantic search. Did not get a frantic search or anything really good, unfortunately. Got the bob back. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, pretty unimpressive hit. It's usually how it goes with the high tide deck, unfortunately. And uh, our opponent got to draw seven cards, which are presumably better than ours. I'm probably just going to pass here and Vampiric Tutor for like a time spiral. This is a pretty bad draw. Yeah, this is pretty terrible. I'm actually pretty surprised at how bad this is. Here comes Elspeth. One one of Oh, wow. Wow. Oh hi Mark. Well that's not what we were doing. We wanted to do a wow, but I hit the wrong button, so we'll just we'll just do a we'll just do a Tommy Why so instead. A little Tommy Why so. Alright, so we take seven here. It's pretty good. Vampiric Tutor puts us to six. <sighs> Boy. Chrome Mox. Happy Homina. Glad you can finally catch a stream. Unfortunately, it's not going terribly well here. Unless they play a guy and then we can wild, then we can Toxic Deluge. Oh, that's not going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Welp. Yeah, our, our, yeah, you got it. Um, Toxic Deluge kills us now, so we actually have to Vampiric Tutor here. We can't even get Heartbeat here because then we just die to Heart. Then we we don't actually have a green left. We could have possibly do, done it during Upkeep. We Upkeep get Heartbeat. We go one, two, three for Heartbeat. One, two, three. But then we don't have, um, then we don't have Time Spiral. So. Like, what are we actually hoping to get here? This guy is exerted. I mean, isn't Time Spiral just better than Wheel? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So we can actually play Creeping Tar Pit and tap that instead. No, we want to play an untapped land to get to maximize the mana, I think. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy. Do we want to play anything here? Dark Confidant? No, definitely not. So we'll play a red and the other blue. Two, three, four, five, six. Also not great. These hands have not been ideal. We're not going to be able to kill this. So I guess we just shoot it at you. God, this Vampiric Tutor, man. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can actually just Dark Dwellers here, I guess. And block the Gideon. There's no way out here. This is pretty bad. Uh, 
Yeah, pretty brutal. Not ideal. And they have seven cards again, so we just have to assume they drew a Stormbreath Dragon or something. Yeah, Chandra's pretty good. Yep. So not dead unless they have a burn spell in their six card. Th these draws have been horrific. I feel like it's not entirely my fault. I know we haven't played perfectly by any means, but I feel like we've, uh, yep, always have it. <laughs> I want to have it once. Um, Dreadbore seems pretty good here. I'll bring in a Dreadbore. Deluge, eh. It's funny because their draw was excessively slow. Oh, you heard that Alexa rubbing, huh? Okay. I was like, huh, well, that's an interesting response there. Oh, God, she's probably listening right now. She's going to say something else. Great. I will play first. All right, not too bad, not too bad. This hand's actually pretty good. Let's get a Steam Vents because we want to... Blue. We want an island, basically. I know we could have gotten the green source with the overgrown, but um, I think it's more important to have islands. So, and that's a good reason to have an island as well. When storm goes wrong, the tale of bad draws. He drew twenty-one cards. Could any of them save him? Find out. Land. That's not a land at all. It's basically the opposite of a land. I really don't want to cast Everflowing Chalice here. I'm just going to keep up Electrolyzing Days. Everflowing Chalice is significantly better next turn if we hit a land. Uh, this hand is not necessarily Petrol, but it does have it does have some gasoline to it. So, cast with Multi Kick. Got him. And the fact that our opponent is, missed, is missing land drops is, makes this hand even better, which means like I wish we didn't waste a good draw on their missing land hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just play Palancron as a four, five. Untap our lands, then play Empty the Warrens. I don't even hate that. No reason to play empty here for four. I mean, I'm pretty sure the game is. Gideon McMidian. I don't want them to know about this, but I also don't want to make the match any harder on myself by not, by losing my four or five, so. That doesn't do anything, really. Does it? One, two, three, four, five, six. It lets us go infinite, doesn't it? So we go one, two, for high tide, we'll have one floating, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four to bounce. No, we'll have to bounce it at the end of their turn. So we'll, we'll say one for one for high tide, but we're using this for blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we need 10. That's fine.
palancron, palancron, about a palancron, palancron, nothing but a palancron. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can net one mana every cycle. Is that correct? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't actually know if this is correct or not. It might not be correct. Yeah, it's no, it's not correct. But we're still going to get a bunch of mana, so we're going to empty the Warrens for a million. Yeah, we would need at least one more land to make this infinite. Because now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can bounce, but we can't replay. Um, we could Wheel of Fortune here. Actually seems pretty good. But what's the point of all these Palancrom plays? I think we just make eight guys, right? I don't want to give them a card. We can just... <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We'd have five floating, plus whatever we draw. I don't know if I actually want to give them cards here. <laughs> like, they only draw two though, and we're actually in pretty good shape, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. Do we have? How much do we have? Oh, this. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So we get a little extra. We get a little bump there. Oh, uh, we can't keep looping. We don't have enough mana for all of that. Yeah, if we had one more mana, we can actually brain freeze them for a bunch, but that seems pretty good. Their hand literally was all spells. Wow, they have their own Empty the Warrens history, Hazaret, Armageddon, Ally of Zendikar, Monastery Mentor. Wow, that is brutal. Um, I'm gonna just keep impulse up. We don't have anything we really want to get, right? Can we Rakdos' return and kill them? No, I guess we'll just win the game. Seems good. Uh, I was actually thinking, um, Rakdos' return, but... Man, Inquisition might be better now. Uh, we didn't have enough to loop for infinity. It takes eleven mana to loop, and we only we can only ma we can only generate eight, so we can't actually do that. You ha you still even if you don't net any mana, you still have to have seven to cast and four to bounce, which is a, a loop of eleven. We can only we only had lands that produce eight, so we couldn't actually do that. I'm 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 well aware of how making the infinity works. I'm just I, we couldn't do that. Uh, I also don't think we had a green source there, Josh, so I'm pretty sure we couldn't tutor for heartbeat. Oh, we had overgrown in hand. Inquisition doesn't seem that great against them. Like, they just have a bunch of things that... Maelstrom Pulse could be good, but I don't really want to bring in another green card. I think our deck's actually fine against them, surprisingly. I don't love this, but we can actually find something with tutor. If we really need to. So we'll actually lead off with this. We have Dismember and Dreadbore. It's fine. Do we just want to hit a land here? Do we just want Steam Vents? I think we do, because we have Goblin Dark Dwellers, so...
Tutoring for Bob seems aggressive against this deck. Wow, they didn't play anything. That's great news. I'm actually going to play this in case they go Glorybringer and we need to play uh, Dismember here. Oh, that's a good Gideon. We have a Dreadbore. Looking good, looking good. So, High Tide, Frantic Search, Time Spiral in hand. Any number of islands puts us in good shape. Don't be else. Oh, perfect. Let's see if they exert. Dang. All right. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Yeah, Bjorn, we actually saw two Gideons. We actually saw three Gideons. We saw Gideon Ally of Zendikar, Gideon Jura, and Gideon of the Trials. Um, and their deck doesn't seem to go that wide, except for Monastery Mentor and Young Pyromancer, but they didn't seem to have that many spells that really make them go wide. So I feel like Dreadbore is actually where you want to be. And also, we don't want to take the damage from... Is this just a, is this just a turn? Can we just go Island, High Tide? We get one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, use three of it to Frantic Search. Maybe we don't have to go off yet. I think that's the, I think that's the case. We just don't have to do it. So I think you just wait. That's the I think that's the storm takeaway, right? Um, you just don't go off. You don't go off as early as you can. You go off as late as you can. And I think sometimes I forget that. That's fine. Oh, we also saw Chandra. So otherwise known as Chandra. History of Benalia. Ooh, I'll take two. Good thing you can't cast that. If you if you play post Chandra planes, I would be. I'd be quite bemused. Um, I think this might be the turn. Yeah, let's try to let's try to do this now. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. We use three to frantic search, but then we net six more. All right, we're gonna have to do it. Plus, we get Cabal Ritual at its best. One, two, three, four. Um, we're actually gonna go blue blood, sick red. Frank, any clue why Twitch vods are unavailable on Xbox? Your channel is the only one. I have no idea, actually. <sighs> this is interesting. I think we can actually discard Empty the Warrens and Goblin... No, can't do that. Um, I think we're going to... Dark... We, do we play a land this turn? Alright, so we're definitely getting rid of you. No, we, we didn't actually play a land this turn. Right? Turn 7, turn 6. Alright, so... Hmm... We're getting to untap 3. We can actually discard Cabal Ritual to get back High Tide... So we're definitely going to Dark Dwellers. I think we just empty the Warrens. We can, we can pitch Empty the Warrens and pitch Cabal Ritual. We can Dark Dwellers for High Tide again. Does that work? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. We want to play the Island, though, for sure. So we can actually pitch these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. This will be five. Pitch you. Maybe we just, yeah, maybe we just pitch the red cards. But this does put a guy on the board, which I like a lot. I don't think I care, though. One, two, three. 
uh, at an island. One, two, this guy. We'll add a, uh, we'll use a blue because we have a million of it. One, two, three, four, time spiral. One, two, three. One, two. This was actually the best time spiral we've ever done. <laughs> Uh, and you on top. So, that'll do pig. Ritual for two. Brain freeze for one. Storm count is at a million. Heartbeat of spring, we don't have a green. Frank's doing some Mr. Miyagi stuff, clearly. Palancron is fine here. We played an island. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we do net one every time we cast this now. Uh, one left. Okay. Chalice for zero is probably not better than Palancron for a million. So what do they have? 25 cards times 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're netting 10 and it costs actually it costs eleven to do this, so we're not netting mana yet. But it only costs us one per iteration, so. It's basically costing one mana to up the storm count by one, I believe. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's eight? This would be nine times three, nine, eight, twenty-seven. That should be enough. So electrolyze your face. We'll see what happens. Sure. Brain freeze, and we'll see if you have an Emrakul. Same targets, because I'm not going to target myself. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. We won that match. And we got one more. Give me one second. I'm going to this room. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll see what happens.
All right. Last round. Round two, three. Fight. Oh, this is a hand. Keep it. Keep it and weep it. Keep them and meep them. We'll play you first. And pass it up, pass, pass it up. Oh, please, Ancestral Recall. Sultai, man. Betrayed, hoisted by my own petard. We can't get an island here, so we'll just get an overgrown tomb. Got that sweet heartbeat mana. There's a good amount of islands for a a potential frenetic ifrit search oracle of mully dully Ooh, a lotus bloom that's great draw that red I guess we pass here or do we high tide and a frantic search we have to hit something right so I don't think drawing two and hoping that we hit one of those things is really where we want to be. I, I like not having them... Uh oh Island off the top. Lotus Bloom. Dak Faden. Okay. Dak. I want them to tap out so that we can... I don't want them to use my high tide, really, is what it comes down to. Dak McFaden. Dak, Dak McFaden. Uh oh. If we high tide, what do we have? One, two, three, four. Interesting. Oh, that's great because we have high tide. And they don't have a red source? Oh, we can. We can actually fire their Oracle Moldiah. Apprentice style. Yes. Yes, give me all the islands. Hmm. So there's six cards. We know one of them is a Dak Faden. We could also tap one of their lands and draw a card. But if we were going to do that, we would probably play played high tide first. Fire on this guy. That's pretty good. So now you're going to draw a gush. You have Dak. You don't have any red sources. Now if you want to gush and bounce the lands, you can't actually replay two of them. Okay, so you have Island Island. I'll assume. Oh, you didn't play an island. That's good to know. And Primeval Titan. Okay, we have to we have to go now. We have we have to go now. So we have Lotus Bloom. You have two islands, a get a gush, and a Dak in hand. Boy. Time spar one time. Impulse is good. So we got some we got some options here. One, two, three. 
Uh, we'll actually add a red here instead. Frantic Searchums. That's pretty good. Discard two cards. Probably Tutor. Um, actually, it's probably Impulse and Swamp. Do we play a land this turn? No, but we'll probably draw one, right? So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana here. That's pretty insane. So we can discard Swamp and Impulse. We can tutor for a card that we really want, like High Tide. Uh, we'll go one, two, three. And then we can Wheel of Fortune here. Time Spiral. One, two, three. Actually, we don't have to do all that, right? We can leave everything untapped and just play this. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Heartbeat of Spring. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. One, two, three. Dark Dwellers into Frantic Search seems pretty good here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is 5 and 6. That's exactly what we want. Oh, we should use Pentad Prism. That's, that's a good point. There's a lot of things going on. I'm just trying to also not take a million years because I know it's not super fun for my opponent. So 7, 8, 9. This is 10, 11. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And Frantic Search actually gives us a bunch of things to do. So, one, two, three. Frantic Search. Uh, cast it, sure. I like that idea. Uh, let's get rid of Deluge, Lava Claw, and we'll untap our own lands for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's definitely got to be islands here. Uh, we get red, black, black. I'm pretty sure we can actually just kill them with Time Spiral here. One, two, three. No. No, not you. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Oh, you on top. All right. Yeah, this should do it, actually. Unless they have... This is actually a pretty terrible hit. Um, we're going to go to your face. So for one... Dismember, not great. Um, nine, so this is going to be 10 times 30. We could do this if they have an Eldrazi. It's pretty bad. And then, our, and then we're actually out of gas. So I guess we're just... No Eldrazi. Or forget you have an Eldrazi. Oh, we win it. Sweet. Awesome. <sighs> Dreadbore seems good. Better than Lightning Strike here. Wow. Chef Snake, thank you so much for two months in a row, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, admittedly, there's there's something about Cube. Cube is the or uh, not Cube Storm. Storm is one of the funnest decks to play, but it's also one of the least fun decks to play against, and it's also one of the hardest decks to play. Storm is interesting because it's like most Magic is like chess. You make a move, they make a move. You make a move, they make a move. Storm is more like playing a puzzle where you have to figure out how all the pieces go together. And um, that's obviously less fun for your opponent, unfortunately. 
I am entertained, but I have no idea what the hell is going on. Fair. Fair. Um, what do we see? We saw Lotus Bloom. We saw Oracle. We saw the Primeval Titan and Gush and Dak Faden. Okay, none of those are super scary. This hand is also great, especially with Gush, and especially with Dark Confidant, and especially with Dark Gush Fidant. I meant Days, not Gush. Yep, five out of five opponents confirmed power. Five out of six, actually. I guess the last one did not have power. As far as we know. Five out of six. And 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 Soul Ring is 100% power. Not running gifts because uh, I don't... <sighs> oh, for fried out loud. Well, I don't, I'm not a big fan of gifts. I don't like having to deal with the piles. I think it's, it's a weakness of mine. That's fine. I accept that. Jolly Noggles. Stuck sick at home and the doctor recommended lots of vitamin C and watch Frank on Twitch. Guess I'm here to fill my prescription. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you're, I hope you feel better, buddy. Unless that was all part of an elaborate meme. Uh, with three draw seven, sure, but um, I mean, with three draw sevens, you should naturally draw it anyway. One, two, three, four, five. It's pretty good. I mean... Yeah. No. Thanks, but no thanks. And this is where they play Primeval Titan on turn. Oh, they might not have it. They might have been searching for it. Soul Ring. Soul Ring is most definitely power, make no mistake. I'm pretty sure if they had Primeval Titan, they would have not given us an extra card there, so. Gush, you got it. Draw all the cards. Jolly Noggle, get, get rid of that Summer Cold, buddy. Lotus Bloom, sure, that was just fine. Yavamaya Eldario. What are the odds they have like Cryptic Command or something in hand? It's like a million. Creepy. Oh, what a what a creepy tar pit. We're gonna start keeping all the uh, the remaining lands in our hand so we can discard them to frantic search. What are you doing here? You gonna start? You gonna crack this guy? No. Okay. Soul Ring and draft is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I don't know what's going on. Are they just not doing anything? Well, I'm going to keep one land in hand. So we want two red for like Dark Dwellers and what have you, but. They have five cards and they're not playing anything. It's very strange. Watery Grave untapped. Are they keeping up Cryptic Command? Rakdos's return for four. Oh boy. Like you do in the four color soul ring ancestral recall deck. Is there anything we can hit with a frantic search off of this? I mean, it's going away anyway, right? So. Could just be worse, though. And they. Looks like they conveniently kept... 
I mean, we could say they conveniently kept that up, but it works out perfectly because they needed the black for water or grave anyway. We could hit Vampiric, but we could also just hit what we want to find with Vampiric. Like, we could hit a Time Spiral off the top. Speaking of which, Time Spiral off the top is pretty good, so... Does the mana do anything for us? Whatever. Thank you. I see our opponent doesn't want to play fun magic. Shardy McGee, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I guess we're just going to be aggressive now. Pretty good. Hmm. Um. Impulse. Twister. Okay, you got it. That's actually significantly better now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. It's actually pretty good. If we can Dark Dwellers into Twister, it's actually. Well, well, well. So, four, five, six. What happened to the Mountain Dew? I drank it. Yeah, the land's untapped, but if we hit high tide again, we want to be able to keep as many islands untapped as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess we can only keep one up and still maximize our one, two, three, four, five, six. You have a counter spell. You have you've literally had the cryptic command. Sure. I mean, they only have four damage on board. Maybe we, maybe we survive a turn and then we get to time twister and still do stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I I just work here. Maybe we draw. High tide time spiral off the top. Maybe we go to two. Maybe they have a lightning bolt effect in their hand. I don't know. Maybe they Ugin. Maybe they lightning bolt our face. Sure. Maybe they just have everything that they ever need all the time. I don't know. Who knows? God, Inquisition doesn't hit Cryptic Command, which is really sad. It doesn't really hit much of anything. It's soaring. Truck and Predator could be good. Well, green is so minimal in our deck. 
And we don't want to have to Bloodstained Mire for an Overgrown Tomb if we don't have to. I think we're actually okay. They do have Cryptic Command in their Fraley's uh, Primeval Titan <laughs> Rakdos' Return deck. If you had time to first, you could have spiraled after the cryptic. Yeah, right. But then we lose time spiral, so it's just a worse play. I mean, that's 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 cool. That's a cool that's a cool observation in hindsight. But uh, you're literally saying if you make the worst play, it would have resolved. Because the thing is, time spiral is free in that situation, whereas time 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 twister costs three. So. Do you think Relic Organ Herald will have an impact on Standard? Probably not. I can't imagine that. Opponent 15 mana kills opponent with Land of War Elves. <laughs> uh, I watch your streams a lot and they always have it against you. The odds are astronomical. I feel like that's true, but I always feel like maybe I'm biased, right? Like I'm playing the deck, maybe I'm a little biased. But then I, then I like people say that and I'm like, maybe it's not just me. Maybe I'm not crazy. Well, the read was cryptic. I did put them on cryptic, but I mean, I also felt like it was... The thing is, you can't have a read if they tap out everything except for that mana and they needed the mana, right? Like when they Rakdos returned, they had four up, but they had to... They had to, They. had It didn't cost more than what they spent. It's not like they... They didn't Rakdos return for three instead to keep cryptic up. It worked out that way. So like, a lot of people see signs as... Um, you know, a lot of people see, they, they read things into it, but it's actually just like, that's just how they had to tap the mana anyway. It's like, it's almost confirmation bias where you're seeing something that's not there. Oh, that was a good draw. That seems not fun. I don't know if that I don't know if you got any shenanigans for that, but like if there's ever a chance where the blue white control deck uh, has more than seven cards, you've already lost, really. We got a green land here. I almost want a time twister. Like they have six, but we get to play a land. I almost want to just do this to get a land. And I, I think it's actually fine here. Did I get a makeover? I did not get a makeover. <laughs> Appreciate you thinking so though. Uh do we want a wheel of fortune? Maybe make them discard their hand. I feel like that's actually fine. It increases our odds of actually hitting things that are good for us. I don't think there's a point to frantic search first. Because we don't have mana to play two things, right? So we can we're gonna play frantic search, we're gonna untap, and then we're gonna play twist, twister or wheel of fortune. And um, if that's the case, like, actually, this could be very good for us. Well, I didn't like what our hand had. Like our hand didn't have anything in it. Heartbeat of string is bad with no with no green lands. Palancron's a seven mana spell. Dreadbore is fine, but our hand was never good. RPG Badger, a storm going outside while while watching some storm happening online. That's too many wiles, but I appreciate it anyway, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. So we can go Signet into Pentad Prism into Dark Confidant here. I 
this actually seems good. And if they ha if they have like land Rakdos return, I guess we're we just we made them pitch Primeval Titan, U Ugin, and Jace, which is pretty good. Um, they do have an Ancient Grudge in the graveyard, but I think they're just gonna Fire Ice this guy. Nope, Electrolyze. Electrolyze is good. Yep. I mean, we're gonna Rakdos return them for a million. And then they're going to Ancient Grudge our Pentad Prism. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ancient Grudge for five. Seems good. We can Time Spiral first, but then we lose the Ancient Grudge. Presumably. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can actually Rakdos return for like five, then Time Spiral next turn. It puts them on two cards. That's pretty good. And then they get to know how it feels. To keep two cards. I guess we do have Time Spiral, so. Make them discard, make them draw seven, sure. Yeah, guys, it gets them seven again, but... The point is, it's it, it's we're gonna discard it anyway to time spiral, so there's no point in not doing it. <laughs> oh man, good times, good. Wow. <sighs> I have no words. I'm actually speechless. That's unbelievable to me. This would be the point of not doing it? What would be the point of not doing it? You understand Rakdos Return deals them damage as well, right? It deals them five damage. It's literally not just make them discard and then nothing else. <laughs> Rakdos is returned back. That's hilarious, dude. Yep, taken two. So, we don't want to tap a red because if we hit Dark Dwellers, it's pretty pretty gas. Dire Fleet Daredevil. Two, five mana. They have a Wheel of Fortune too? Oh, oh they, have, they have Ancestral? It's got to be Daredevil, right? The point of not doing it is because they get to keep their two best cards. That makes literally no sense. And now you're just backpedaling because <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I'd rather them keep their two best cards and not five other cards than their two best cards plus five more. Like, that doesn't make any sense. We got Electrolyze, Ancestral, Primal Command. Do we care about a Primal Command more? Seven life is good. It's got to be Ancestral, right? We have Wheel of Fortune, Time Twister, and Time Spiral in our graveyard. So we actually need Dark Dwellers to hit something. Hope they didn't top deck Cryptic Command. <laughs> Cabal Ritual. Well, that is a thing. That did not do it. Okay. You got him.
the better play would be to wait till this turn. Well, I guess you could do that. Sure. So now we go to four and the run and land. Okay. Well, we had a good run. Uh, and by good run, I mean bad run. And uh, not the best Storm deck we've ever drafted. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll do a little better next time. Storm is a tricky deck. I think we've definitely misplayed a ton of times. Hopefully you still enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and check out my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. Both of those are in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.